Um, let's go and talk about exponential. So, so far, what we have is y equals b to the x. And what we looked at is that graph looks something like that, right? And we could go and use a table and stuff like that. And we could figure out, all right, that's your parent graph. That's what it looks like, OK? Now, does anybody remember when I was talking about inverses? Well, how do we figure out the inverse of a graph? We didn't spend a lot of time on it, but does anybody remember how do we find the inverse of the graph? Yes? You reflect it over the x equals y line. And what else do we know when reflecting over the x over y line? If that's kind of hard for somebody to do, what do we do with the coordinate points? Switch them like, right? Swap them. So we know that this one, Alex, is 0, 1. So when I'm looking for my inverse graph, I know that that's going to be at least going to have what point? 1, 0. So if I was going to reflect this, the inverse graph is going to look something like that, right? Well, remember, these have to be swapped, right? I'm sorry? Because look at, take this and just reflect it over the xy line, right? Take this point and take that down there, right? OK. Alex, you right here? Yeah. OK. No, I was going to say, that's you could go there if you need. OK. So now we have what we call the inverse, right? So here's your inverse function. The only problem is we don't really know what our inverse looks like. So let's do algebraically. Let's see if we can figure out the, um, what the equation of this line. So we do y equals, so I'm sorry, here's y equals bx, then this is y inverse equals bx, right? That's your inverse function. So let's do y equals b to the x, all right? So we find the inverse, right? First thing we want to do, find an inverse. Ashley, as you remember, first thing for finding the inverse is? You swap your x and y coordinates, exactly correct. So you swap your x and y variables in this case, and you have y, um, x b to the y. Huh. OK, so now how do you solve for y? y is being raised to a power. How do you solve it? Well, you can't square. You can maybe look into taking the y root of each one of those. Um, and, but what we kind of look at this, guys, is the same thing. We can rewrite this. All right, The way that we write this is this inverse function is we write as y <coughs> equals log base b to the x. So now, what I am now introducing is a new function. So to solve for y, right, to solve for this y, what we write into, and your calculator applies logs. So now, when we look at this, we have, if I need to solve for y, this inverse function It'd be y inverse now is going to be y equals log b to the x. And all this simply states, this, all this says, if you're going to look and you're like, what does log even mean? All log means is b raised to the y power <coughs> equals x. Right? That's all that simply states. b raised to the y power equals x. OK? That's what your log states. Now. So what are we going to do then for your homework that I'm going to